going to do a little bit of talking about our first unit, which is writing analytically, and specifically our first project, which is doing a rhetorical analysis. What is important to understand about rhetorical analysis is we're not looking at the content of the article you choose. Instead, we are looking at the elements that the author uses to be effective in portraying his argument or his point or um, the content of what he's trying to express. So, what are some of those elements? So, when we're looking at the article, we want to look at the elements that are present. What kind of words does the author use? What kind of tone is set? Are the, is his vocabulary formal or informal? Or is the author using a lot of technical language that would be dedicated towards a particular audience? Or is the article written in a way that others can understand it more easily? <clears throat> Another thing that would be in here is the formatting and design. And this can be anything from use of pictures, charts, visuals, to use of headings. How is information cited, or is the information cited? And part of those word choices, the, the tone, the format, and design can tell us a lot about who is the intended audience. And the other important thing to think about when we're considering these particular elements is is there a bias involved? Is it an identifiable bias? How do we know this? And how is the author subtly telling us his bias or his own thoughts on it? Or is he not being subtle at all? Is he coming out and telling us? And in what ways is he employing his word choice, his tone, some of the formatting in order to accomplish expressing this particular bias? And in this bias, are there loaded words? As we're looking through these things, how does the author of this article support their argument? What is their main point or thesis? And how, what elements are they using? How are they supporting their main idea with other elements, examples, those pieces, what are the elements involved? Another thing we're going to want to look at when we're thinking about the rhetorical analysis that we're completing is the organization of information. Is there a particular way that the author has chosen to put the information? Is it weakest argument to strongest argument? Is it chronological? Is it information that is background information first so that we understand the situation or the placing of the topic and then the following information uh, that supports and informs us overall. But how is the author organizing the information that they're giving? And then lastly, when we look at the author, what do we know about the author or the publication? What do we know about their history? 
what do we know about their expertise on the topic, and where was this found, and what do we know about that source? <clears throat> and what we know about the background of the source and the author can often tell us a lot about if we're going to find bias in the source or not. And lastly, one of the things we're going to want to consider is the currency of the information. Is this article that you have chosen, is it relevant for the current time period? Is it within written in, say, the last 10 years? And if it is written recently, is it still current? Or is it already dated because information has changed so quickly, technology has changed so quickly, that it's no longer relevant to our current dialogue or conversation? While this information is not an all-inclusive list, this here gives us a lot of information about how we can analyze our author's argument and what elements the author is using rhetorically in order to make his point or express his opinions, thoughts, ideas, and thesis. So thank you for your time. I hope this was helpful.